same interface will support Android Auto. We're going to show it to you. So it's both CarPlay and Android Auto. Right? And on the phone, on the car, we're going to have CarPlay right now. All right? This says CarPlay, and there we go. We have our CarPlay on the screen. Now, how do you control the CarPlay? And the Android Auto is going to boot up, hopefully, on this phone if we installed it. And we're going to go. And so, first time when you load Android Auto, you got to accept and after you accept it all appears on the phone so now we have Android Auto this is the controls on the bottom there you go you got your iPhone whatever you do on the phone mirrors now so basically we created mirroring of the phone to the car screen so we know everything is working the audio Land Rover LR2 demo presented in Range Rover full size all third generation Range Rover screens are identical regardless of the vehicle they are in this product is 100% designed and manufactured in the USA. Please support American jobs. This product is 100% automotive grade product. In this video, we're going to show you three products. A video in motion to enable factory DVD in drive. Apple CarPlay made in USA, single module. CarPlay supports Android Auto in the same single module. Wireless mirroring for iPhone and Android. Vehicle disassembly. First you remove this panel. It's all held by the clips. You unsnap it. We already unsnapped it for you. But it's all held in the back over here by the clips. You got clips here and here. Just pull it out. The whole entire panel pulls out from one end to the other just with the clips. There's nothing holding it. There's no screws. On the passenger side, you want to, on the, you open the glove box and pull it down a little bit and it removes. This panel right here, this metal panel, got four screws. Remove the four screws and remove the panel. You got four screws here, panel removes. Next step, this panel, side panels, you got two screws here, remove. Two screws here and remove. So each panel is held on top and on the bottom with four screws. Screen is held by four screws. And you can remove the, the screen to work on everything you need. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, two in one module made in USA, all in one single module. Do not forget to program the interface. All interfaces are stripped blank as they need to be configured by the installer or end user. Programming process will take less than one minute and can be performed using Windows or Mac computer. Apple CarPlay update. The update process takes approximately two minutes. This is the software already open on the screen. Software is available for Windows and Mac based computers. Step one, download the updater. It takes approximately 30 seconds. Step two, open it. it. Takes one second. Step three, get a cable. USB to micro USB. USB and you're gonna connect it to the computer micro USB N you're going to connect into the interface then install appropriate software so just for the test purposes we're going to install Jeep Wrangler and hit install and the installation starts and the entire process is probably going to take right about 30 seconds and then after it's installed you basically do installed in the car and don't forget to set your dip switches in the video it's going to tell you whether they go, go up or down and the configuration entire configuration on Windows or Mac computer will take you no longer than two minutes that's everything that's downloading the software and installing so installing the software and then the last step is configuring, which is self-explanatory. It's everything is in plain English, right? We don't make it complicated. There's no learning curve to this. As you can see, I hit search, I hit install. It's only one button. So there is no learning curve to use this. It's basically all automated. It sits as 99%. Right now that's going to go away and it's going to say, see device completed, click close. 
and then the camera settings you can update. Again, this is all here in plain English. On our left hand side, you adjust the cameras that you want to install if you're installing any. On the right hand side, you choose cameras that car is equipped with and then how do you want it to operate. Again, it's all in plain English. So if you're installing side cameras, there are three ways to operate them. Manual, manual with a speed check, manual without speed check. Everything is in plain English. Again, no learning curve. The whole update takes approximately one minute. You just have to tell the interface if you're going to install any aftermarket camera and you got to tell the interface if you have any of the factory cameras. You're completing your update and it took us about two minutes and 30 seconds for the entire process. Take it to the car and continue with the installation. Now that you remove all the panels, before we remove the screen and install the harness, this is the CarPlay. We're going to install CarPlay. This is unique interface only available from our company. It's made in USA and unlike competitor units, this is all in one. You don't have to combine two or three units together to make this work. You got an interface, you got dip switches over here, they have to be set down. So this is up, set them down, programming as you saw in the previous step. This is an input for the microphone. On the other side, you got programming port and you got port for the USB for the CarPlay. You can route the CarPlay into your armrest nicely so the, the unit is going to sit behind your screen and you can nicely route it into the armrest for factory look and it's going to be just like an original you have inside your armrest. The audio cable is also going to go from here into your armrest. All right. So what you're going to receive in the package is a microphone. The microphone has a clip, this is a special microphone for Siri. It's a clip that's used to clip the microphone, so this way the microphone can be installed. This is your microphone, and the microphone can be installed in your headliner, and so this way mounts to your headliner and you don't really see it it's up there and it's going to be used for Siri so you're just gonna clip it onto your headliner like this and it's just gonna sit there it's a very small microphone it's gonna be used for all your Siri purposes then you have your remote eye that you're going to mount somewhere behind your steering wheel also because this is for the wireless remote and you can use double side tape that it come with to mount it so pretty much let's show you over here so in the back over here where your panel is gonna go so you have this panel that you removed from here previously and you can just go ahead and mount your mount it somewhere over here and this way you can the wires are gonna go inside the panel so you're not gonna see so you're gonna hide all the wires behind and it's gonna stay like this and you're not gonna see it because it's gonna be behind your steering wheel so all the wires are gonna be hidden behind this panel right here so when you're gonna put the panel back into its place at the end of the installation right so this is your this is your panel that's gonna go back and when you're gonna put it back you're gonna mount this somewhere over here and the wire is going to be hidden so basically when it's installed you're not going to see it anymore okay so let's continue to now the remote control even though the car has a touch screen we're not able to use the factory touch screen for the car play purposes so we created this beautiful remote it's small remote as you can see it has the design of it is very very small it's made to hug the steering wheel tight and it's unibody remotes as you can see there are no extra pieces to attach each one single remote and when you put in the steering wheel and the unique design if you look at the steering wheel remote it's straight right but the way it's designed it has the shape to hug the steering wheel so when it's mounted it's pushing against the steering wheel because this edge is pushing against the steering wheel so it doesn't move when you press on it. it 
it's a unique design mode all right so this is your steering wheel and this is the remote so you can see how small the remote is compared to all the buttons on the steering wheel it's sitting right here and as you can see it's very small so compared to these buttons it is very small we're going to compare later the buttons on the remote are the following up down left right enter turn off the carplay if you have other video sources you can cycle them back button and Siri so for the carplay are enter up down left right back and Siri and as you can see no matter how hard I press I'm pressing very hard right now it's not gonna move because it's designed to hug the steering wheel and as you can see it's very small you see this is your steering wheel right and you can see it's almost sitting on top of this area so if you're driving your driving is like normal and it's sitting here and it's all one single piece remote and it's unique design available only from our brand nobody else makes remotes like this it's designed specifically for carplay to match the Range Rover interior all right now how do you install the carplay this is how we're going to install it you're going to remove the screen while well, you remove all the screws as you see in the previous step you're going to need two connectors in the back of the radio you're going to need this main connector and this connector you're going to need the last one so it's the burgundy connector is the last one so all the way at the end one two three it's the fourth connector the last one you're gonna take the plug-and-play harness that we supply you with and you're gonna install the plug-and-play harness here's the plug-and-play harness that was sent to you so you plug in one end into here then you plug in the other end in here then the factory burgundy connector you plug in like this and then you got another connector on a plug and play harness that goes back into the last connector. Your microphone, you're going to route it from the top of the car, from the ceiling in the middle. And on the CarPlay unit, you're going to plug in here. Then you're going to plug in, we gave you a main harness that plugs into the interface. You got this 10 pin connector over here, 10 pin black connector, not used. You got five wires over here. They already tapped off at the end. See this five wires on this plug and play harness? They're not used. This five wires not used. It's all plug and play. You got four inputs. You can connect anything you want, cameras or whatever, those are just video inputs. You got your audio, there you're going to install audio and run the audio through the inside into inside your armrest to hear the audio from your CarPlay. And then this is your remote eye, this is the eye for the wireless remote, you're going to plug it in here. So. You installed your plug and play harness, right? It's all plug and play. You take this end of the harness for the interface and you plug it in. Then you left with the five wires that were not connecting. They're just stay unused. You got four RCAs. If you're not connecting any video sources, you don't need them also. A jack for your remote eye for your wireless remote audio RCAs so you can hear audio of the car play that's gonna go through here into your armrest 10 pin connector that is not used then you're gonna take your car play unit and you're going to plug it in make sure the switches are down and you're gonna observe and the LED is going to start blinking green you're gonna put it behind the radio 
and you're not going to close the car, you're going to start testing everything to make sure everything works. So, just for test purposes, put it in the back. We're just going to close everything temporarily, make sure everything works, and then we're going to start closing the car. After we know that everything works. So, I'm going to put the screen into its place. So the screen is in its original location. This is my remote eye that I'm going to attach later. And when you're going to be doing final assembly, you're just going to hide the rest of the wire in there. All right, for now, it's just for testing purposes. Now, how do you use this? You got the remote on the steering wheel. It's pretty simple. I'm going to show you CarPlay. So first thing first, you want to set the radio to aux, obviously. So select on your radio we're going to select audio we got it in sources here and we're going to set the radio to aux when the radio set to aux this way you can hear the audio music directions calls from carplay with the remote on mounted on your steering wheel we're going to press ok when you press ok you have the carplay on the screen now connect your phone so to connect you can use a long usb cable like this you see this usb cable it's very, very long the reason I'm using such long cable is because I can run this cable right inside my armrest and it's going to be like factory, right? So this cable we have to connect to the interface and then we're going to run it inside our armrest. All right, so let's connect it for now. Again, we're connecting everything just for test purposes. So it connects to the USB. We're not doing anything permanently because we're just testing everything to make sure everything works before we close the car. We want to test everything. So this is real CarPlay. All right. So now we're going to plug in, and the same interface will support Android Auto. We're going to show it to you. So it's both CarPlay and Android Auto. All right. And on the phone, on the car, we're going to have CarPlay right now. All right. This says CarPlay, and there we go. We have our CarPlay on the screen. Now, how do you control the CarPlay? You got this remote on your steering wheel, and it's just like controlling the radio through your steering wheel remotes. You got follow. The, this is the highlight. That's where you're right now. If I press right, highlight moves. Right, highlight moves. If I'm in the map mode and I press enter, we're gonna enter in the maps. This is your maps. If you want to get out of the maps, you press back. You get out of the maps. If you want Siri, you press on the Siri button and the Siri is going to appear on the screen for us. Right there, you got Siri. If you want to exit Siri, press the Siri button again. We got a bunch of applications. We cannot play audio for copyright reasons, but we're going to just show you how it works. So the CarPlay is not mirroring. This is CarPlay. It runs the CarPlay on the phone. So as you can see, look, you see the tune-in radio. If I'm going to start tune-in radio, you see it opens up the tune-in radio. But actually, I can close it, and this is running the CarPlay interface. So this is not of any kind mirroring. This is true CarPlay. So you got your recent app. So on top is the app that's running. Oh, you see, my mother is calling me. And we can answer a hang up, actually. You see, I'm going to go ahead and either I can accept or I can decline. So I'm going to go ahead and decline this call, and it's going to go back to the factory screen. Now, if you go onto the phone, it, you can do by voice or you can do show contacts. And by keypad, you can dial the number if you want. You can dial any number. And then if you want, you can call the number. Or you can hang up on the same phone call. We're going to hang up. So this is CarPlay. CarPlay is always CarPlay in every single car. CarPlay is CarPlay in any car. This CarPlay is the same way that many European cars have it now that don't have touchscreen. Even though the car have a touchscreen, we're not able to utilize touchscreen. We're able to utilize any other phone. I mean, I mean any other uh, control. So we chose to make custom control. It's a form of a joystick, same as found in many German cars, Mercedes that are not touchscreen, BMW that are not touchscreen, Audi that are not touchscreen. So this is joystick format. CarPlay can work in 
two formats touchscreen or joystick so Mercedes and BMW they have joysticks in their car so we made a joystick for you it is very small and you're able to control same thing we could do with the Android Auto so this is CarPlay and CarPlay you can read about it online whatever apps are available you can download them to here you don't have to worry about any updates all updates happen inside the phone so basically you don't have to worry about anything whatever apps are available you download them and you use them CarPlay if you have 10 cars with CarPlay they all gonna work it's the same way your settings are gonna be saved so this is again real CarPlay that's not mirroring you got your home button you got your time you got your LT Wi-Fi you got your recent apps so basically if you want to go into any application whatever you want to use you want to use Spotify you can use Spotify app any application you can use Spotify is going to load on the screen and again the app is loading right here so basically see it's open up Spotify right here but because I'm not logged in it cannot load so it says please log in and I'm gonna go back back and back so if there's an app available for CarPlay you will have it with new iOS 12 that they're releasing you're gonna have Waze you're gonna have Google Maps and all their other applications for now you can use native applications you can use you can go into destinations you can get out of the maps you can add to destinations you can go into your messages there you go you got messages you can read them basically anything that's available we got a bunch of app installed you can use so CarPlay is a CarPlay is a CarPlay because all updates are only updated inside the phone so whenever CarPlay is updated it's updated inside your phone so next time you got an update it's updated here inside your phone and you never have to worry about the updates in there so if they release 10 more features and they're inside your phone instantaneously they're gonna be transferred into your CarPlay to your car screen now we're going to show you Android Auto okay and now we're going to connect the Android phone connect to the USB so you can run your USB into your armrest and just plug in either Apple cable or um, regular USB cable for Android so again this is um, real Android so welcome to Android Auto we're gonna do unlock to continue so our test phone that we're using here uh, no sim card no nothing and the Android order is going to boot up hopefully on this phone if we installed it and we're gonna go and so first time when you load Android Auto you gotta accept and after you accept it all appears on the phone so now we have Android Auto this is the controls on the bottom you got your phone basically a phone can be anywhere and you control it the same way with the remote control that you have on your steering wheel so you press down it selects the map phone it's the home button music and other apps so let's go into the maps go ahead and open the maps and it's gonna open pre-installed either Google Maps or Waze depends what you have installed so you can select between one or the other so loading we're using the test phone this is our old Android phone there's nothing special so there are your Google Maps press back and you can get out of the maps and go anywhere else you want so click home and it's gonna take you home to your home screen right there's your home screen and as you can see it works on all kind of phones on all speeds so if you got music on your phone press down go into music and whatever music apps you have downloaded from the apples from the uh, from the store so we got Google Play or Google Music you can select either one that you want so let's say Google Play music and whatever music you have loaded you'll be able to hear it again same way to your auxiliary so you have husband and wife you got two phones you can do Apple Maps or Android Auto so open the menu on top left obviously so we gotta go into the menu and if you have other apps like Spotify or wherever you can change them you got all the stats over here on the right side so it returns back to your screen now you can do the phone call same way so if you, whatever phone numbers you have in your phone book this is Android Auto same way it's in an any car 
So whatever cars you had experience with Android Auto is the same way, it's no different. Apple CarPlay and, and Android Auto always remember, they always look inside your phone. You see right here it says on the phone, Android Auto. We give you display of Android Auto or Apple Maps and the control. All updates, all new apps, everything happens inside your phone. So whatever is supported in Android Auto mode, no jailbreaks, no nothing needed. Whatever is supported in the phone, you're going to see it right on the car screen. So either one, either Apple. And this is very old phone that we're using. Very old phones. You can see they don't even have phones like that anymore. This is very old AT&T phone. And even works on such an old phone. So same thing with Apple I iOS. Works on really old phones. And you can go back to your Land Rover screen as well. And then you can switch between the mode of the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and your factory car stuff so basically you see all your factory settings and if you want to enter Apple CarPlay and Android Auto simply press power button or the OK button and this is how you switch so this remote controls both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto two in one so husband and wife parents and children if you have iPhone and Android you can have it both with the Range Rovers, we make this for all the Range Rovers starting from 2002 up to 2018 Range Rovers. You can have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. All factory features work as before. There's no change. It's like nothing even is installed in a car. Press OK. You enter Apple CarPlay or Android Auto screen. Press power to get out. And all your factory features work as before. Your factory steering wheel buttons. Every single feature work as before. There is no change to your factory features. Wireless mirroring demo for iPhone and Android. iPhone, you're able to mirror via wire as well. Do not forget to program the interface. All interfaces are stripped blank as they need to be configured by the installer or end user programming process will take less than one minute and can be performed using Windows or Mac computer. Programming wireless mirroring. We have an adapter for Apple, Macs and Windows PC. All you need is a cable like this, USB to micro USB. Take your wireless mirroring adapter and connect to the computer. So the download process takes only 30 seconds to download the software for Windows or Mac from the website. Then connect this end into the Windows or Mac computer and connect the micro USB end into the interface. The software will appear on the screen and then you load the software. So just for the test purposes we're going to show you one. So you click on search. Uh, let's install Accurate 5 inch. Hit install. The entire process takes less than 30 seconds so it takes about a second it takes about 30 seconds to download from the website and then takes another 30 seconds to load the firmware for your specific vehicle. The reason they come blank is we don't know what car you're going to install it into or what features you like. So it's up to the user to update it. But the entire process takes less than 3 minutes. So you download the version from the website and it's self-contained version. There's nothing to do. Just one click, download, one click, install for Windows or Mac. After you install it for Windows or Mac, you select the software from the list. You see there's no files to find or nothing. Just from the list, you select the software. And once the software is selected, you just simply wait for it to load. The loading process takes, what, 45 seconds approximately. See the green is done and it's going to show you that the device is completed. Close and then adjust your camera settings. On the left hand side, you're choosing the cameras you would like to install into the car. If you're installing any or none, you set the check marks. On the right hand side, you set the check marks for the cameras that you have in the car from the factory. Again, that's up to you. Select appropriate cameras. After you select the appropriate cameras, you choose the operation mode. It's all in plain English. There's no guessing game. It's self-explanatory. So look, the entire process took us about two minutes and 30 seconds. Once you're done, you click save settings and that's it. The device is updated. Continue with your installation. Smartphone mirroring installation. 
this is just smartphone mirroring with two antennas you later can put them like this on the side when you're going to be installing it behind the dash over here you have HDMI output so this is an output HDMI you can connect to rear screens programming port this is USB if you want to mirror iPhone through the cable or iPhone YouTube must use a cable which you can route through the panel into your armrest for factory look nicely route the cable from the back of the radio inside your armrest and on the other side you got main connector and you got two dip switches that must be set to on position so program the interface as seen in the previous step set the dip switches to on position which is down so they gotta be set down like this this is their correct position this is up and switches are set down so installation is very easy first you're gonna receive a plug and play harness you have your screen on and this is the plug and play harness you got two connectors two factors and another connector here so we disassemble the dash we're gonna pull the radio out pull the screen out access this connector Plug in the supply T harness. All right, that's plugged in. You need the fourth connector all the way there, the last one. You're gonna unplug the last connector. You're gonna plug it in together like this, and then plug this end into the end. Plug and play harness is installed. Now you got the main harness with the interface. On this main harness, you have the following. You have the main connector that plugs into the interface. You got five wires that are kept off for you at the end. They're not used. You got this optional remote control wire, not used. You got four video inputs that you can use if you're installing anything such as DVD player or anything else or any other video sources. So you got four RCAs can use for whatever purposes you want but we're not going to use it but you can use it for anything that you like then you got two audio RCA's that you're going to route nicely into your armrest together with your cable if you want to use your iPhone with a wire to watch YouTube Android is 100% wireless Android is wireless first iPhone it's recommended I recommend a person with a cable because it's two purposes number one it's charging the phone and number two it gives you YouTube and you don't have to connect it with Wi-Fi every time so it's just much faster and basically so you're gonna run your cable nicely in here behind the panels into your armrest and all your cables also into your auxiliary then on the other end you have this 10 pin connector that you're not using and you only need this to connect to the main plug and play harness so you connect them together and then you plug this in here the light is going to be green we know the interface is working properly we're temporarily going to put it behind the radio because we're just doing the testing we're not doing the final assembly yet so we're just hiding everything temporarily putting the radio back and we're going to test to make sure everything works all right so what we want to do is, first we want to learn how to connect our phone, basically. So this is how it's done. Go into your phone settings, and you're going to go into your Wi-Fi settings. And then you're going to look for hotspot. You see it says hotspot 764. We're going to press, and we're going to connect. There is no password needed. See, it's connecting to hotspot 764. This is for wireless mirroring with iPhone. See, it's connected. now depending on the phone you either swipe up or swipe down so on this phone we swipe up you got screen mirroring see it says looking for Apple TV in a second it's going to find Apple TV because this is same as Apple TV and after it finds the Apple TV we're going to connect to it first time it takes a few minutes longer but after it finds it we're going to connect to it it said right here connected to hotspot 764 now next step using this button we want to switch press and hold and the interface switches now we have our iPhone on the car screen 
there you go you got your iPhone whatever you do on the phone mirrors now so basically we created mirroring of the phone to the car screen so we know everything is working the audio has to be set to auxiliary so when you are in a regular mode make sure that you set the audio in the radio to auxiliary so you got it set to aux over here auxiliary is selected and you press and hold and there you go same thing with Android we're gonna show you how to mirror Android but this is your iPhone you can do it by cable or you can do it like this and whatever you see mirroring basically creates a mirror image of the phone to your car screen so whatever we see here is mirrored there except if you want to use YouTube you have to connect it by cable other than that it's a mirror image so if I was to go ahead and start let's say any application let's go let's look here how about we're gonna start calculator guess what calculator appears it's a mirror image what's here is shown here exactly either it's calculator or go home you can use Waze Google Maps or any application this is mirroring whatever you choose to see here you will also see here now we're gonna show you the same thing with Android so we're gonna go ahead and disconnect and this actually switches back to our car screen and then we're going to go ahead and connect to we're gonna connect our Android phone and go from there video in motion for factory DVD player to use while driving do not forget to program the interface all interfaces are stripped blank as they need to be configured by the installer or end user programming process will take less than one minute and can be performed using Windows or Mac computer how to update the software it doesn't matter what you're updating whether you're updating camera interface video in motion interface wireless mirroring interface or Apple CarPlay interface the process of update is identical updater works on Mac and Windows based PC so we have for both Windows and Mac to update you need a cable like this it's a standard cable one end of the cable is micro USB and the other is a standard USB this goes into the computer and the micro USB goes into the interface connect this end into the computer Mac or Windows connect the other end into your interface you're updating again any interface once the interface is connected everything information is going to appear on the screen and install desired software just for the test purposes we're going to show you how to update it with uh, Cadillac CTS software video in motion and hit install so now it's installing and shows you progress bar and a percentage so it takes only seconds to update it so you download the updater from the website for Mac or Windows that's gonna take you approximately 60 seconds and then the update process takes only another minute or so this is how to update the interface so we're showing you the update process and the entire process only takes less than a minute Okay, the update process is done and it's 99%. It says do not disconnect. In about a second, it's going to tell you that it's complete and you can disconnect the interface. There you go. Device settings updated and you're done. So entire update process takes only about two minutes. You download software from the website for Mac on Windows, about a minute, and update takes another minute. And all you need is a cable like this. So USB cable to micro USB. After you remove all the screws, you can pull out the radio to gain access. First product we're going to install is Video in Motion for Factory DVD. It is very simple installation. All you need to install is a plug and play harness and a module that you previously flashed in the previous step as we showed you. So, how is this done? Pull out the radio carefully. 
you're going to access this connector right here. You unplug the connector and plug in the plug and play harness that we supply it with. Plug in the interface. Your installation is complete. Before you close the car, you want to put everything in the back of the radio, make sure it doesn't rattle. Put everything back into its place. And before you finish it, you want to test drive to make sure that everything works properly. So in this car, we loaded the DVD. So we're going to go and find the DVD player. And we're going to go into, I believe, into the home. And let's find our DVD. All right, so I want to go into the video. All right, and there you go, we got the DVD player. Now if you start driving, your video is going to shut off as previous. All right, and the video is off because for your safety. Now, how do you enable the video? This is a very simple step. Here's what you do. You have this button over here. You press and hold this button for a few seconds. 1001, 1002, 1003. And now when you drive, the video is going to continue to stay on the screen and it's not going to shut off anymore. There you go. Your video works and we're driving at 30 miles an hour. Now, if you want to shut off and continue to use it as before, 1001, 1002, 1003. Video in motion is shut off, so now as we're driving, that's it, the video shuts off right away. Even while you're driving, as we're moving right now, you see it says for your safety pictures off, just press and hold, 1001, 1002, 1003, release, and there you go, your video is on. This is video in motion, it enables factory DVD to use while you're driving the car. Don't forget, the interfaces come blank and must be programmed prior to use. Thank you for watching. Please click the logo on the left hand side to subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions work on smartphones, tablets and computers. Please like the video, please click the notification bell and please leave a comment about this video. If you want to watch another video, please click the video on the right hand side.